and we look forward to an equally triumphant year um, beginning in the fall. So thank you very much. And those of you who would like to sing with the choir, please do that. They can always use more voices. We did get five more robes, and we came close to filling in one Sunday, so it's pretty exciting about everything that happened. So thank you so much about that. We turn now to our time of uh, prayer and concerns and ask if there's any one or ones that we need to lift, lift up this morning. All right, then let us turn our attention to prayer. Let us pray. Gracious and heavenly God, first we give thee thanks for the church universal and how it is through Jesus Christ you bring us all together, even though we come from different backgrounds and different races and, and we come from different cultures and points of view, we all with our hearts point to thee and because of that we are united. And so it is we give thee thanks that you have brought Abraham and May from Tripoli a long way away. But because of their faith in Jesus Christ and because they shared their faith in Jesus Christ with their daughter Aline, um, because of that she married a good Christian man, and because of that, here they are. All united in Jesus Christ, one family. And we give thee thanks for the Hamati family, for the Haddad family, and all the blessings that we have received because of Jesus Christ. We give thee thanks that in Jesus Christ there is no east or west, there is no north or south, there is no slave or freed man, there is no color at all involved. There are no politics, but only the power and the person of Jesus Christ. And so we give you thanks that we are united in Christ Jesus. Gracious and heavenly God, because of our uniting in Christ, we are also empowered. And because of this power that you have given us, we're able to bear witness to thee, and not only bear witness to thee, to be about the work of reconciliation, to be about the work of love, to be about the work of healing, to be about the work of proclamation, to be about the work of being gentle, to be about the work of being mere Christians. And we give thee thanks for that, that we can go about humbly being about the work of Jesus Christ. And that work is primarily forgiving and healing and proclaiming. Let us be healers. Let us be proclaimers. Gracious and heavenly God, we speak from our hearts and we ask that you hear us as we lift up to you all members of this fellowship who have not been well. I'm grateful that Elizabeth is here with us today and an anointing upon her and a healing for her. We ask that you be with all members and friends of this fellowship who, who need their bodies uh, repaired, who need their hearts um, calmed, who need their, their, their minds clarified, who need their sins forgiven. And we would ask that we would be the vehicle through which <coughs> such gifts can be given. Gracious and heavenly God, this is a perfectly good day to tell others about Jesus Christ not merely with what we say, but with the way we live. And this we would pray in your name. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you very much, and so it is I say to you, may the peace and love of Jesus be with you. And also with you. And extend the hand of peace and the fellowship to your neighbor, please. Thank you.